Now to the major new headline involving women and abortion rights in this country. Tonight, the Louisiana legislature has passed a first-of-its-kind bill classifying two abortion pills as dangerous controlled substances. Possessing the drugs without a prescription could lead to jail time. Here's Rachel Scott. Tonight, Louisiana poised to become the first state in the nation to classify two abortion pills as dangerous controlled substances. The state legislator now sending the bill to the Republican governor, who's expected to sign it into law. 29 yeas and 7 nays, and the bill has been concurred in. Abortion is already banned in Louisiana, but this bill would make even possessing the abortion pills without a prescription punishable by jail time and hefty fines. It's designed to crack down on their illegal distribution. These pills can be used for dangerous and harmful acts. Drugs designated as dangerous controlled substances are typically ones with potential for addiction and abuse, not abortion pills. These medications are used in emergent situations for women all the time, and nobody disagrees with that. Abortion pills are used in more than half of abortions in the U.S. In Louisiana, doctors will now be required to get special licenses to obtain the drugs. I worry that there will be some stigma and some, um, you know, some taboo if, if the government is saying this should be controlled. Tonight, the Biden administration pointing the finger squarely at Donald Trump, who appointed three of the Supreme Court justices who overturned Roe versus Wade. Vice President Kamala Harris tweeting, absolutely unconscionable. Let's be clear, Donald Trump did this. Louisiana is one of 21 states to ban or severely restrict access to abortion since Roe was overturned. Trump has taken credit for sparking the change. We broke Roe v. Wade and we did something that nobody thought was possible. We gave it back to the states and the states are working very brilliantly. David, Trump claimed weeks ago that he'd be releasing his position on the abortion pill, and whether it should be further restricted, saying that he has strong views on that. But, David, tonight we are still waiting on that announcement. All right, Rachel, while we have you, the other headlines tonight involving the race for president, Senate Democrats launching an investigation into a recent meeting that Donald Trump held with oil executives and whether Trump made any promises to those executives. Yes, David, sources tell us that former President Donald Trump told those oil executives at Mar-a-Lago that they should donate a billion dollars to his campaign because if he were to be reelected, he would step up drilling and roll back a series of environmental protections, many of which were put in place during the Biden administration. Senate Democrats now looking to see whether that amounts to a quid pro quo. David. Rachel Scott on that as well. Thank you, Rachel.